What is up you guys, it is Demon Analyst here and I'm bringing you guys another video and today what I have for you guys is the episode number 9 of Sunday Mailbox and today I have a couple of questions from you guys so uh, before we start I just want to mention to you guys to don't forget to leave me some questions for the next episode so other than that uh, another announcement I want to give you guys is that I'll be showing who sends in the questions because somebody actually asked me if I could uh, put the names of whoever sent the questions so uh, like right here, the, the crazy OAuth. Also, next time, can you say who set the questions if they are not private? Of course. Okay. So, the same person asked, what would you do without YouTube? What would your job be without YouTube? Okay, first off, I just want to mention that this is not my job. This is actually a hobby that I wanted to do ever since I was 16. And after now, after that I graduated, I didn't have a lot of spare time to do it. So, I said, what the heck, why not go for it? So, that's when I started. Um... So what would I do without YouTube? I guess I'll just continue on with the job that I have. My actual job is actually babysitting. I babysit a one-year-old and I also edit videos like memo videos like uh, weddings, baptisms, yeah. and all of this other stuff, you know. So that those are my that's those are my two actual jobs where I, income comes into my house or into me. So yeah, if there wasn't YouTube in my life, I guess I'll go back to wherever I was whenever I didn't start doing YouTube. So uh, nothing will happen to me. Everything will be the same. So next question is um, Do you think black ops is better than black ops 1 based on how you get the streaks and this question was sent in by nanito5486 So do I think black ops 2 is better than black ops 1 based on how you get the streaks? I think um, I Think they're about the same at first when I first got the game uh, I thought that the, the way that Black Ops 2 had the score streak thing, you know, it was really hard to get those score streaks. And it still is kind of difficult, but it's not as hard as I thought it was back in the day when we when we first got the game. Now I can actually get, like, Lodestar. I've gotten my Swarm. I got in Dogs. I got in every single... I think I have actually gotten every single kill streak there is in the game. And it's really tough to get, but it's actually fun and it's not, like, impossible, like... You know, it's not like it, as if Black Ops 2 has an impossible way of getting score streaks because it's not. You just have to play. You just have to learn how to play the game because it's a totally different way to get the score streaks now. It's not just based around kills. And do I think it's better than Black Ops the first one? I actually, um, I actually think it's better than Black Ops the first one because right here at least they give us at least a percentage of the of like. It gives a certain amount of points to accumulate from those kill streak kills. Like in Black Ops One, if you got in, you if you were if you were to have to get 11 kill streak, you have to get it with your weapon by yourself to get like let's say the chopper gunner or the dogs, and you will have to get it by yourself. But right here, you don't. You you get your you get your um your orbital V set, and then whoever kills persons on the map, you, they give you points. They give you 15 points for every single kill that your teammates get, and then that accumulates towards your next score streak. I mean, it's not like Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3 where you get a you get a predator and then you just call it in, and then the kills that you get from that predator count as regular kills. I know it's kind of different, but it actually does accumulate pretty good points, so it still helps you out for the next score streak. So. I think yeah that Black Ops 2 is a little bit better than uh, the first Black Ops because of the score streaks because in Black Ops 1 all you had to do was with your weapon and yourself and your skills and right here you still need you still need skills and you still need your weapon and everything but it's also once you reach the first um, once you reach your first your first um, score streak, then that score streak could help you reach the next score streak, like in Modern Warfare 2 or Modern Warfare 3. Not that, not as effectively, but it also, uh, like, it actually helps you out. Uh, especially if you're running like Orbital V set, and then everything after Orbital V set, you're you're good to go. Unless you suck at it, I suck, suck at the game like I do. For those who, do, for those of you that saw my previous video, you saw that I called in my Orbital V set and died. Uh, knowing where the person was so if you're that retarded like I am then forget about it But it's still a tough one to get you know the little reset is still tough to get but If you get that and then you play it safe after that and you play it smart then trust me Anything else you have after the little reset is a it's already like a done deal So I think black ops 2 is better than black ops the first one on the score streaks So the last question that I have for you guys today is from the crazy off and oh never mind, never mind. It's from NCK Nam, which is the person that made my background. Thanks a lot. And he asks, what do you think of all the small YouTubers like me and you to grow big? Um, I think that if you keep a, a positive mental attitude and anything that you want to accomplish in life, and you wanna, 
you, if you want if you really want it you're gonna wait until you get it you're not gonna give up and i think if you can me and you keep it up and keep it up and keep it up with all of this negativity that we get from people that don't like our content or people that are just trolling us or telling us that we suck um there's still people that they still come and watch our videos probably some of you guys are just viewers some of you guys are my friends some of you guys are other small channels that i've helped in the past and are just here to help me out with views or whatever but uh there's people that come in and then they just start trolling or they just start getting like mad or stuff like that because supposedly we're we're not that good for youtube and shit but if you if you put more attention to the positive things and let the negative things slide away not pay attention to it and keep up with your keeping head keeping your mind that you want to get to a certain point like i want to get to be a 2500 subscriber a channel that's my goal in youtube and after that if, if things are going great then i will put up the youtube uh, the subscriber count and i mean i'm just gonna stay positive on this thing i know i'm gonna get there whether it's this year whether it's next year but i'm gonna get there and i just think that that's how everybody should approach this youtube channel stuff you know probably you grow out of the nowhere there i've seen people that have gone from 100 freaking subscribers and then in three days thanks to somebody posting up the gameplay like let's say for an example um sarcasm or i think jay nasty uploaded a video of the highest kills on black ops 2 which was with 234 kills and this guy he got that gameplay from another small youtuber and um that small youtuber i went and contact him i was like hey we should work together and then he's like yeah sure and then when i checked him out he had exactly 174 subscribers and i had 590 and then three days later when i'm like oh what do you what do you think what do you think we should do to work together and then at, at that moment he had already grown 3,000 subscribers i was like damn there's no way this guy this guy's gonna work with me now and yeah it was true he didn't want to work with me because i never got a reply back so it's either that or he started getting a lot of messages because out of the nowhere like in three days he blew up his channel he literally grew 3,000 subscribers over three days so it was just thanks to that i mean so that's why i try to be the best commentator i can and the best i try to do my best work because i never know who is going to be watching my gameplay i never know who's going to be watching my videos so i just try to be your best try to stay positive and try to keep the negative away from you and you should be fine and try to stay focused on your goals for youtube try to focus on that and never give up be per be persistent on what you want in life and youtube or whatever you're trying to do so that's those are my questions those are my answers to these questions guys hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave me uh, lots of more questions for me to answer this was a short video i think or probably probably it's just a short amount of questions but it's actually a pretty long video now that i see the time anyways this is all i got for you guys today don't forget to leave me a comment down below asking me a question and see you guys in the next episode bye bye